Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's So So. Today I'm going to show you how I shape my eyebrows with a razor blade. So I'm going to show you how I go from this, yes, interesting, to this. And I get to that position by doing this. So this is the brand of um, blade razor blade that I use. Um, I usually get this from the Nigerian store. It's everywhere in Nigeria actually. Um, but in the UK I get this from the Nigerian store, the Ghanaian store, the African store. Um, and it's just a razor blade. It usually comes in a pack of about six or seven or eight. Um, quite a bit is in this razor blade and I also sometimes use this razor blade for this brand to also cut my nails as well. So as you can see from this before clip my eyebrows tend to grow a bit more thinner at the ends of my hair so it's bushy there's a lot of hair but they're quite sparse and they're quite spread apart and they're not in line with each other however in the front part of my hair it's a little bit thicker um, and the hair do concentrate in a particular area but at the particular tip of my hair the ends of my hair it's quite sporadic so the hair do not grow together they're all the way at the bottom all the way at the top and it just makes it look quite thin and not uniform so yeah so i'm gonna fix that don't mind me in this clip i am just trying to get a thumbnail so I'm just playing around with some angles and it's very awkward using the blade and the mirror and the camera and trying to find the perfect um, lighting or the perfect um, way that you guys can see what I'm doing and also for me to see what I'm doing too. So this clip is just very random but yeah, enjoy. Alright guys, so let's get started finally. Um, so the key thing here as you can see me doing is pulling on my skin or thugging on my skin and the reason that I do that is because you don't want to cut yourself which I eventually do um, at some point in this video because I didn't pull my skin tight enough um, but you put your skin just to create a friction and to make sure the surface is flat so your skin doesn't wrinkle up and prevents the blades from cutting through your skin As you can see, I don't use any product on my eyebrows. I choose not to. I know a lot of people do use oils or cream to protect their skin, um, but I choose not to. I think for me, main reason is that I don't like to scrape off the buildup. I just like it to be a clean shave. Um, and I also think I might not be right, I might be wrong, that products might make the razor a bit less sharp than usual as you guys can see i did cut my skin and that was because i was not pulling on my skin hard enough so if you do decide to do this make sure that you pull your skin to prevent this from happening So I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave the sound of my um, razor cuts against the hair and my skin. Um, but I thought some people might like the ASMR and some people might not. So if you're not a big fan of the sound of this, you can speed up the video just to go past this. But I just kind of do enjoy the sound of it. And some people might do might as well. So yeah. I've just realised that my skin is really close up um, to the camera so you can see my hyperpigmentation, my closed pores 
uh, my textured skin. So yeah, I've just realized that um, it is what it is. I can't really apologize because there's really nothing to be sorry about. But yeah, I've just realized how close it was and it can be a bit too much, I suppose. But yeah, I'm trying to work on it. But it is what it is at the moment, really. It's other things more important right now. So yeah. So the key thing with um, being precise with your razor blade, um, what I do is I only use the first one quarter of the blades. I never use a full length blade. Um, the tip of the blade is what I like to use to be more precise in certain areas. Um, and that's the key thing. You don't want to use the whole blade because you are working on a thin surface area of hair. It's not a large surface area. So you only need a little like tip of the blade to use and to be more precise in that way so now on to the second eyebrow as you can see i'm pretty much going to do exactly the same thing as i did with the first eyebrow where i pull on the skin where I pull on my skin to make sure that the skin does not wrinkle up so the skin is stretched and so my blade does not catch on my skin and So in terms of choosing the shape for my eyebrows, I usually um, go free flow with the shape of my eyebrows. I don't have a particular shape that I always go for. It always changes depending on my mood, what hair I'm wearing, what season it is. So when it is winter, I, I like to have it a bit thicker. When it's summer, I like it to be a bit thinner. Um, but yeah, I don't draw anything. I just go with what I feel like I want my eyebrows to look for, like for the next three weeks or two to three weeks um, until the hair starts growing back so yeah So I'm all done.
so this is where we started off with this was the begin eyebrow bushy and yeah very bushy and this is the end result so i hope you enjoyed this video guys and feel free to come back to this channel and subscribe if you want to so yeah have a nice day and remember guys make sure you stay safe and stay home i hope everyone's keeping as safe as they can and my prayers out to everyone who's been affected one way or another by this virus i hope everyone's okay and uncentral i hope you guys and your family are doing well um yeah just you know, I hope you guys are doing okay.